uh, sort of specialized operations response team. I think we kind of was a SWAT force, but for Department of Corrections. So we're basically a response team uh, throughout the states. So if a serious incident were to occur, uh, we do respond and assist other facilities. And then also, of course, we do respond to our own incidences. And going through SWORD is just an amazing accomplishment. It's a tremendous notch in the belt. Yeah, so I am on building entry. Uh, it is a specialty within the SORT team. I'm on SORT Tactical. We have uh, SORT Tactical, SORT Logistics, and then SORT CRT team. If there's a hostage situation, CRT is sent in to try and resolve the problem without having to use less lethal or lethal force. Tactical is the more hands-on. When you go in there, the dynamic changes a bit. They treat you differently, they'll be more responsive. It's, uh, it's different. It is a little bit on the intense side. It's meant to be a challenge. Yeah, it is physically, but mentally. It really tests your mental capabilities. It helps you come together as a team, because when you're in those intense moments out in the field, you need to be able to come together and trust your teammates. I was the last man standing. Most of them got shot down by the instructors. So I grabbed two friends and pulled them off to the side. And then my two squad mates got taken down. And then I was stuck with one instructor for about 15 minutes. It was just me and him, but I couldn't get an angle on him. So I tried to go up and do it and he got me. It was a surreal experience, super like eye-opening. Never been in that kind of situation before. Just learning about how important it is to communicate, how important it is to have a team leader in a situation like this and how important it is to stay calm. I think it's so important for people to get out of their comfort zone and see what potential you have. Working in a correctional facility is a great way to get you out of your comfort zone and you're just gonna see how much you grow as an individual. And I just absolutely love that.